So I needed a way to power my little DecaWave adapters. This is the uh, ultra wideband ranging system that I've been playing with. And I made a little breakout board that takes a five volt input from a mini USB. So I thought I looked on eBay and I found these little devices that are do-it-yourself battery packs, as they call them. And it comes basically like this. This circuit fits inside of here. I've dismantled it because it needed a few a few changes to make it work. For one thing, there's this little nub here that's supposed to connect with the positive side. It was sticking out so much that it was impossible to get the cell inside. So I pulled it out and had to smash that down a little bit. And that, of course, caused this wire here to become unsoldered. So I put that all back together. But basically, it goes together sort of like this. You put this put this part down in there, and the little thing puts back over there. And then you use one of these um, 18650 3.7 volts uh, lithium ions. Oh, these are really, really common. They use them in laptop battery packs and things like that. This did not come with this. You know, this cost a couple of bucks. The other, before I forget, the other issue was this thing came assembled. And this was really incredibly tedious to pry off of there. I had to use screwdrivers and an exacto knives, but I finally did get the thing off. So be warned, don't, don't put that on unless you need to. So anyway, here's you put the cell in there like this, and that completes the battery pack. And then if you take and plug in a mini USB jack, or USB and a mini USB in a little circuit here, it'll power up. And uh, I guess the blue LED must indicate that it's drawing power. It, it does not have a switch to turn it on and off, which is curious. Apparently it's able to sense the fact that it no longer needs to draw power. And I guess after a few seconds or so, like that, it'll turn back off. It's got another LED for red, which I assume is indicate, would probably come on when you're, when you're charging it, which you charge via the mini the micro USB jack that's down here. So the, I took the thing apart and looked at the circuit. I'll have pictures on my website that you can look in more detail. But this is in effect the circuit that I reverse engineered out of. It's got this U1 chip, which is made by Hot Chip, whoever that is, called an HT4921E. It looks like it's some kind of switching regulator looking at the topography here. This is the output side over here. For some reason, it jumpers the pin two and three together, the day plus on the output side. That may be ne needed to indicate to the device that's being plugged into charge that it has charge available. The, mi the micro USB comes in over here and presumably implements some kind of a charging circuit. Although, and I'm assuming that this resistor down here sets the charge rate because it's called Prog. Other than that, I don't know a whole lot about this chip. Um, there's a data sheet, but it's all in Chinese and I couldn't make up couldn't make much of other than the section that seemed to describe the auto on off feature. Uh, but I'll have to test that in, a, in the future by putting a load on it and see just how much of a load it takes to switch on and how low it has to drop before it'll switch off. That may be important for if you're going to use this as a portable field pack. But for I think it cost me about two dollars for one of these. And that was with free shipping. And I don't remember what the battery cost, but you can salvage these out of lots of things. So that's that's a pretty cheap um, thing to have a portable little five volt power supply. Although I don't know what the output current this thing is capable of driving. I mean, presumably you use it to charge phones, but until I actually measure this, I won't know what it's capable of doing.